paghalong katya, o kung anong mga dinalaman na wala pagpapalang niya. Pero dito sa Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, ay ang nilalaman nito ay, Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of the prophecy and hear the things which are written in it. For the time is near. No? Uh, pero yung pinapapakas sa atin, ang mahalaga. Sapagkat yung ilalaman ng aklat ng Revelation, ang pahayag, ay mga katuluan ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa mga huling mga araw. At yung sinasabi yung Korda Times din, yung sabi niya yung pagpaparito ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo muli ay malapit na. In other words, we should be ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the reason why these letters were written for not only for the churches, but for everyone who would like to read, who would like to hear, and who would like to hear the Word of God in preparation to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, especially in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7, kinasabi doon ng Panginoon sa Christo na, Behold, He is coming with the clouds. Oh, so malapit ang pagsakit ng ating Panginoon sa Christo. Uh, second point. Uh, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na, itong aklat ng uh, Revelation, puro-puro ng uh, number 7. And this number 7 denotes completeness, no? Com- denotes uh, fulfillment, total fulfillment, total completion. Bakit? Dahil doon sa first six days ng creation ay uh, ginawa ng Panginoon itong uh, buong salibutan na ito. At hindi niya natapos hanggang hindi siya nagpahinga on the seventh day. No? And he rested on the seventh day. Hindi dahil siya napagod. No? Dahil ang ating Panginoon, ayon sa Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28, siya ay hindi napapagod. No? Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not. No? Neither is weary. There is no serving of his understanding. No? Hindi na hihina, hindi na papagod sapagkat ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo, kanyang kakayaan ay walang hanggang. So hindi na upos yung kanyang kakayaan. Kaya hindi siya na papagod. Pero nagpahinga, ibig sabihin na nagpahinga sa ikatlong araw ay dahil tumigil na at sa isasensyon o His word and it was completed, no? Kaya noong uh, tignan ng Panginoon, ang kanyang ginawa, ang sabi doon ay, it was very good because all the work of the Lord Jesus Christ was completed after the sixth day and that on the seventh day, He ceased from all His words. Ngayon itong uh, ipinakaluwati, sa panahon ng kasulatan na sa dami ng pagkagamit ng pito, yung bilang ng pito sa aklat na ito ay nagpapahiwati na itong book of revelation, aklat ng pahayag, ay ito na yung uh, this will complete the whole revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. No? So itong uh, book of revelation, ito yung pinakadulo na uh, pinatawag natin na Banal na Kasulatan, Holy Bible, Holy Scriptures, because the uh, revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ has been kept by the Book of Revelation. From whom the letter is from, no? Sa bawat heavy ng letters, kapag pasahin nyo yung mga letters sa Revelation chapter 2, chapter 3, may heading doon palagi kung kanino nagbula yung sulat na ito. At lahat ng mga adjectives doon, lahat ng mga description, 
yung pinagpula ng sulat na ito ay nandun sa Revelation chapter 1. At uh, yun ay pagkakapakilala uh, sa ating Panginoon Ito Kristo no? sa pitong iglesia. Halimbawa, sa Ephesus, sinasabi doon na, He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh the beats of the seven golden sticks. Ito ang ating Panginoon Ito Kristo na na kita na masdan ni Apostol Juan nung tignan niya makita niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo again, it's clear na and for real, ayaw ko na na uh, kapahayagan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo by Pablo by Juan no? nung sabi niya, I am the first and the last I was dead and now I am alive forevermore. Yun ang papahayagan ng ating Panginoon Kristo kung sino siya kay Apostol Juan. The first and the last. Nagpapakit natin yan ang una. Na yung the first, siya yung pinagbulan ng lahat ng mga bagay. No? He is before all things. Colossians 1.17 And by him all things succeed. No? In Him were all things created, of things in heaven, of things on earth. All things were made by Him and for Him. So yung pagka-first ng Panginoon sa Kristo, siya yung kumbaga sa tao ng mga philosophers. He is the first cause, no? Siya yung pinagbulaan ng lahat. Kung yung trace yung katahilanan ng sanibutan na ito, at ka... Uh, ang kagdo sa dulo, no? it cannot go on forever and forever. Because at the end of that, naroon ang Panginoon sa Kristo. In other words, itong salibutan na ito ay may hanggang, may simula, at merong kantona. Yun, the last. Yung last dyan ay telos. Ito yung huli. O pinakadulo. No? Ang ibig sabihin niya, last na doon yung completion no? uh, hindi lang nasa dulo kundi na, na, na kompleto, na ganap sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo in other words ito po sa lipunan na ito ay kinakailangan may hantong sa Panginoon sa Kristo sa pagkasyeryo kabuhan, kaganapan ng bawat isa sa atin halimbawa yung pananampalataya sabi ng Panginoon ito uh, sa Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher or completer of our faith no? ang Panginoon sa Kristo was dead para siya uh, dumanas ng kamatayan kinakailangan ng pagkatawang tao siya yung kanyang pagkayon hindi mo papatayon dahil doon sa, doon sa first John chapter 5 verse 20 sinasabi doon na and we know that the Son of God is God and has given us understanding that we might know Him that is true and we are in Him that is true this is the true God and everlasting life so yung, ang Panginoon sa Kristo siya mismo yung everlasting life hindi po siya mapapatay no? kaya Ba't niya sinabi niya na he was, he was dead because he took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. No? So meron siyang matawa na kanyang daladala rito na naparito sa saliputan na ito at yun ang dumanas ng kapatayan para sa kabayaran ng ating kasalanan. So siya, he was dead. But he is alive forevermore. Why? Because uh, on the third day he rose again as a uh, sign, as a proof that the Lord Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. No, lahat ng mga inangkin ng Panginoon sa Kristo, na siya yung buhay ng walang hanggang, siya yung pagkabuhay ng magkuli, ay pinatunayan niya hindi lang gusto basta bla 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 no? kundi pinatunayan niya na siya nga yung pagkabuhay ng mga tuloy at kabuhayan so 
He rose again from the dead on the third day. Sabi ng Panginoon, I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to raise it up again. So, He was resurrected on the third day. Kaya, siya, He is alive forevermore. Doon sa pagkapakilala ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa kanyang sarili sa Pergamos, the third church, ang kanyang pakilala niya, He which has a sharp sword will do a yes. Ang isang uh, pagpapahayag ng Panginoon sa Kristo patungkol sa kanyang sarili ay yung kanyang pananalita no, ay uh, nandun yung kaluwang uh, tapak na meron dalawang talik no, so yun store sa yun ay salita ng Diyos so, sa Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 yung sinasabi doon na for the word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than a double edged sword no? yung word of God mas matalang pa kaysa uh, Double-edged sword. That is why uh, we should be uh, we, we should be careful in handling the word of God. Dahil uh, uh, yung deliverer and yung recipient parehong natatamahan siya. No? No? Hindi lang yung uh, mga congregation ang tinatamahan ng double-edged sword. Pati yung uh, deliverer the word of God. Lahat tayo ay uh, kinatamahan, ikinutuhin ng salita ng Diyos. Yun. So, ang pakilala ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, yung kanyang salita ay uh, double-edged sword. No? Or sharp sword with two ages. Sa kaya kira, ito rin ang pakilala ng Panginoon sa Kristo. He was eyes like unto a flame fire and his feet are like fire brass. Uh, yan din ang pakilala ng Panginoon sa Kristo doon sa verses 14 to 15 doon sa Revelation chapter chapter 1 Sardis He that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars no? yung seven stars yan yung seven angels of the seven uh, churches no? He that hath seven spirits of God Doon sa akwa Aklat ni Isaiah Ay Nakabensyo doon yung The fullness of the spirit of God At muli Iba't ibang mga interpretation to Ng mga commentators And we'll try to Go into the The Uh, more discussion, extensive discussion of that later. Pero pakilala ng Panginoon sa Kristo dyan, He was the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Philadelphia, the sixth uh, church, kanya, um, kanya pakilala dyan, He that is holy, He that is true, or the faithful witness in Revelation chapter 1 verse 5, He that had the key of David, He that openeth and no man shatteth, and shatteth and no man openeth. Sabi, yung yung key ay symbolic of authority. Doon sa Revelation chapter 1 verse 18, ang Panginoon sa Kristo ang siyang may hawak na mga key o mga susi ng hair, hades. No? Ah... Hades is the place of the dead. No? Kiss of hell and of death. In other words, ang Panginoon sa Kristo ang uh, meron authority kung hanggang kailan yung ating buhay. Siya, kaya sabihin, yung tao huwag kong patayin ang yung sarili. Yung tao huwag kang pumatay ng tao. Dahil ang Panginoon sa Kristo ang may tama ng buhay ng tao for it is to all life, breath, and all things and that's the reason why in the 10 commandments we are commanded not to kill 
just to take anybody's life. Uh, Dibas pa doon sa uh, figurative na pag ikaw ay uh, in-legislate mo yung tao na sabi mo, sana mo, wala ka na sa aking painting, pinilan mo ng tinatay. No? Yan yung, uh, hindi, yung pag-murder ay ilang piece ka kundi pwede, uh, you can commit murder uh, by the heart. Kapag nilegislate mo yung tao na mawala ka sa painting, no? wag ka na magpakita sa akin na ito ay patay na, ay uh, pinatay mo na sa iyong puso. No? Pero ang, ang uh, Panginoon sa Kristo, ang merong uh, kapangyarihan, merong authority, no? siya ang pagsasabi, kailan ang tao ay mamatay. So hindi natin hawak yan. Kapag sinabi ng Panginoon na, bakit pasalit ko papasok ka? No? Uh, pagka binuksan na ng Panginoon sa Kristo yung hindi para sa iyo, wala kang magagawa, pasok ka doon. <coughs> sa Laodicea, the last, uh, the last uh, type of church, uh, this church typifies the present church that we have, no? Ang pakilala ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa kanya sarili dyan ay is the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation. That's all in uh, verse 5. So in other words, uh, sa lahat ng mga uh, letters, papunta sa mga <coughs> iglesia na yan, ay pinapakilala dyan ng banal na espiritu na ito ay mula sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And that uh, goes back to Revelation chapter 1. Sinasabi nyo na the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto Him no? to show unto His servants things which must surely come to pass. So, uh, itong uh, uh, pagmula sa chapter 2 hanggang sa chapter 22 iyan ang bumubuo ng sulat ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa lahat ng mga iglesia dyan sa Asia Minor and also to the different churches being typified by these churches in Asia Minor. And this also for each and every one of us. Dahil uh, aside from the churches, ay uh, lahat ng may tayo lahat ng may pagdinig, no? ay pakinggan ang sinasabi ng Espiritu sa mga Iglesia. So, lahat tayo na may pagdinig ay uh, para sa ating itong aksat na ito. Just to uh, let show it again to you. I have shown this once to you. Ito yung mga uh, Iglesia, the approximate places or location of the different churches. No? Ito yung Ito yung Asia Minor, Turkey na dito. Ito yung western uh, portion of Turkey. Uh, uh, dito yung uh, Israel, to, Lebanon, Syria, dito yung gulo ngayon. No? Uh, at dito ang Babylon, Babylon. Iraq. Iraq. Oh, Iraq. No? Iraq. Pero dito, sa dulong ito, dito yung uh, pitong iglesia, Ephesus, Mirna, Pergamo, Tayatira, Sardis, Lagencia, and Tayusia. Uh, maraming mga post packets, ito yung pinili na madalhan ng sulat. Well, the, uh, some will say that this is the normal, normal road going to uh, Rome. So, so uh, uh, ito yung normal road, kaya nalagaan na yan, padala na lang yan. And uh, some have also said that uh, itong mga iglesia na ito, these are uh, not only real places and uh, real churches, but they, this typifies the different churches or different stages of churches from the time uh, John 
wrote the, the book of Revelation to the present time, to the present age. So, oh, you see a on here. You can divide the book under three major headings. No? Things which you have seen, so lang po lang po ito, sabi ng Panginoon kay God. Things which you have seen, ito yung sinulang ni John sa chapter 1. Things which are the present age, uh, letters to the seven churches. Things which shall take place after this. <coughs> this is the age to come, future revealed, no? After 2 and 3 of Revelation, or simula na sa 4, nandiyan na yung uh, Great Tribulation. No? This is where God's wrath is poured upon the world because of the apostate church, meron apostate church, meron din mga un, uh, regenerated uh, Israel, and those Gentiles who would refuse, who would deny the Lord Jesus Christ. So, dito yung lose yung God's wrath no? sa uh, Revelation. Dito natin makita as we go on, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven bowls, yeah, or bias, no? Uh, these are judgment of the Lord which gets progressively worse and more devastating as the time progresses. So the seven seals introduce the seven trumpets and the seven trumpets introduces the ball. So very interlock. Yung uh yung uh the two seals, the two trumpets, the two balls. Okay. Pagkatapos yung yung uh tribulation period seven years tribulation period narating ka doon sa Bilidya Kingdom when the Lord Jesus Christ come together with His saints that means tayo yun, no? comes here oh by the way mapapansin nyo na after chapter 2 and chapter 3 there's no more mention of the church which is an indication sabi ng mga uh, Bible scholars that the church has been raptured. So, ang rapture ay magyari before the tribulation period. Okay. So, yung mga saints, dead and alive, are taken up uh, what the Lord is. No? May wano dito yung mga uh, ayaw sumot pala tayo sa Panginoon sa Kristo. So, sila dada sa great tribulation period. So, wag yung ambisyonin sa mga sa Ah, at the end of the tribulation period, pagka uh, magigirahin na yung lungsod ng Panginoon, bago ang Panginoon, at tutupukin niya lahat ng kanyang mga kalaban niya, kasama yung uh, the false prophet, the, uh, the beast, or the antichrist, at saka sa Satan. Uh, Pagkitapos, the Lord will set up His religion kingdom, and after 1,000 years, lahat ng mga tao dito na nasa Bilingi ng Pita, sigla nyo ha, may kapayapaan na, may progress, ang ganda magbuhay niya. Walang, walang away, no? Walang, uh, because at this point, si Satan nakatali, no? Nakapin, nakatalikala doon sa bottomless pit. So, walang nagdadaya. So, napakaganda mga buhay dito. Yes, at the end of the milling yung kita, no, pagkapakawalan na si Satanas, lahat ng kaya ni Satanas na dayain na narito sa milling yung kita na ito, they will wage war against the Lord Jesus Christ. At, at ang pangalan ng kier dito, at the end of the milling yung kita, ito yung the gold, and a good war, no? Yung, before the setting up the Millennial Kingdom, ang kiyem dito ay, tinatawag na, the war of Armageddon, no? Pagkatapos dito, yung, ah, uh, go get, war. 
Pagkatapos lahat ng mga narito, they will have to go through the great white throne judgment. Lahat ng mga sumayin, they will have to go through the great white throne judgment. May mga akta. Uh, I'm not supposed to distance, pero kasi pagpunta tayo dyan. Maraming mga akta at meron akta ng buhay ng ng uh, portero. Yung mga walang pangalan doon sa akta ng buhay ng portero, sila ay ibubulit sa dagat-dagat ng buhay at sa sobre, no? Lake of Fire and Brimstone. Ang mga kapasok lamang dito sa New Heaven sa New Earth, where New Jerusalem is, are those whose names are written in the Book of Life of the Lamb. No? So, uh, uh, just to quickly go through this, but uh, uh, we did it earlier at this time to go on. But I'd like to discuss now is the two present aids to your uh, the seventh year guest. Another way of uh, dividing the book is like this. Revelation chapter 1 to 3, and then you're about the church age. Do you still remember? You have been about to talk the church age, the seven uh, uh, dispensation of man here on earth. Pero, uh, you church age. Hindi natin alam kung gaano kahaba ito. No? This Aeon time, this period. Because we don't know when the Lord Jesus Christ will come. No, wala sa atin nakakalam. Pero pagdating ng Panginoon sa Christo that will be the end of the church age, when the Lord Jesus Christ will take in a rapture all those believers, both dead and are alive. After that period of judgment, ito yung sinasabi kong man, a uh, tribulation period, no? Tribulation chapter 4, verse, uh, chapter uh, 19. And then, chapter 20, and then you think of age, 1,000 years reign of the Lord Jesus Christ. Seven years. Yung uh, tribulation. And then, Revelation 24 to 22, ito na yung simula ng eternal age, hanggang kailan, endless, no? Unto eternity. God's purpose in the present age. Sabi natin, in the present age, can you case of the church? Huwag natin i-confuse yung program ng Panginoon sa Kristo for Israel at saka yung program ng Panginoon sa Kristo for the church. Kasi meron yung meron isang katuluan yung tinatawag na yung tinatawag na replacement theology. Ano ba yun? Dahil yung Israel, sinereject nila ang Panginoon. Ngayon, ang Panginoon, ipinagin niya ngayon ang kanyang atensyon sa church. Kaya ngayon, wala na yung wala na raw yung Israel, tayo na yung pumalik ng Israel. Yan ang sabi nga. Yan yung replacement Theology, that's not true, no? Dahil yung programa ng Pangalawa sa Kristo, tuloy-tuloy yan for Israel. Yung covenant ng Pangalawa for Israel ay hindi maglilikat siya, no? He's bound to his commitment, to his covenant, to Abraham and to the nation of Israel. Kaya, hindi mawawala ang nation of Israel. At hindi ay papalitan ng Iglesia. These are two separate programs of the Lord Jesus Christ. A program for Israel and another program for the Church. Ngayon, when Israel rejected the Messiah, the program to restore the glorious kingdom to Israel, that isa sa mga talong na alaga ng Panginoon sa Kristo, doon siya yung nabuhay na magkuli doon sa Acts chapter 1. Ito ba yung panahon, Panginoon, para i-restore mo Israel? Dahil, uh, if you remember, yung pagbulan mo ang Israel na itaitapot sa Babylon, 
the northern kingdom of Israel, Assyria, the southern kingdom of Babylon, the northern kingdom of Israel. They were able to return in the land of uh, Israel, but they were never, never able to set up their own kingdom. Because at the time, the Sibulanian kingdom was the times of the Gentiles. No? And then the Babylonian kingdom, the uh, uh, Persian kingdom, then the Grecian kingdom, the Alexander the Great, then the Roman, uh, uh, Roman Empire, the Polacisar. So, no one had a young man, no one had a young kingdom of Israel. So, uh, the old, uh, the Vatican of Cameroon's Christo declared himself to be the Messiah, to be the son of David, who will sit again upon the throne of David forever and ever. But he rejected that. So, uh, yung uh, dealing ng Cameroon sa Israel was interrupted. Ang kanyang dealing ngayon ay sa mga Gentiles. No? Why? to take out of them a people for his name. No? God visited the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. So in this present age, in this age of the church, ang program ng ating Panginoon Spiritual Life, tipunin ang Ecclesia, the call out one uh, for his name. <laughs> but the Lord's program for Israel did not cease. The church did not replace uh, Israel. So, this present age, pagamat uh, hindi nakita ito, no? it's a mystery to the prophets of the Old Testament. They did not see the, uh, the existence of the church. Uh, ang nakita lang nila ay yung <coughs> kung baga sa bali, no? yung church para nasa Bali, no? Nasa Bali. Ang nakita lang ng mga prophets ay yung first coming ng Panginoon Kristo at yung second coming ng Panginoon Kristo. What happened between those two comings, they did not see. Pero, yan, between those two comings, nandun yung church. Uh, I, I have a slide for that. Uh, makita natin ba ba no? But, uh, the point is, this present age is for the Lord Jesus Christ to take us from the Gentiles and even from the uh, uh, from Israel. There are those who would uh, commit themselves to the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, to come up with His church. Yet you find the power of Christ. So that's God's purpose in the present age. It's like that. Okay. I think it's inside the The program of the church is a mystery to the uh, Old Testament prophet. The program for Israel was interrupted temporarily, Romans 11 25. Sabi ni Paul, For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits. That blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Pag lahat na naman ng Gentiles na uh, magtalaga ng kalabuhay sa Panginoon sa Kristo ay nakapasok na, that will be the time when the Lord will uh, rapture the church and the counting again of the 70 weeks of Daniel will start. Mahala rin pa ba yung, uh, uh, yung mahapang chart na pinapakita mo doon? Uh, yung coming of the Messiah pinakita ng Panginoon by God yan na there would be 70 weeks 77 490 years no? pero doon inayawan ng Israel nireject nila ang Panginoon the counting of the uh, years the pagdating ng Panginoon to begin on the 69th year. Dahil ang Panginoon 
he was not dealing anymore with Israel, but he was dealing with Gentiles. So you counting ng uh, years regarding the coming of the Lord to establish this kingdom stop. No? So, to begin to sa 69. Pero, pagkatapos ng marapture ang, ang mga Gentiles, ang, ang church, and the Lord will again deal with, his, uh, with Israel, that will be the time when uh, the counting of the seventh yet week Seven years, the last seven years, that the tribulation period will start again. Okay. Uh, and take it The church is a mystery to the old prophet. Actually, Marabit, we are mystery. There are 27 new suggestions in the New Testament. No? But I'm just mentioning these three just to show you about the mystery which was unknown to the uh, prophets of the Old Testament but was revealed unto us. Yung, yung sinasabi ng mystery sa, sa Bible ay hindi yung uh, something uh, very mysterious na hindi natin malaban. No? But this is uh, something that was not seen or that was not shown to the Old, prophet, the Old Testament prophets but is now made or revealed unto us. No? The church is made up of Jews and Gentiles, tinakita ng mga prophets to, no? forming one body. Uh, having made, those Ephesians 1, 9, 10, having made known unto us the mystery of His will, according to His good pleasure which He has proposed in Himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, He might gather together in one all things in Christ, lahat ay uh, magkakaisa kay Christ. Kay Christ, wala nang uh, slave, wala nang master, wala nang female, wala nang male, wala nang Gentile, wala nang Jew. No? We'll all be one in Christ. Both which are in heaven, which are on earth, even in him. And then in Ephesians 3, 4, 6 is also uh, be mentioned. Whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of His promise in Christ by the Gospel. No? So another uh, mystery regarding the Church was the fulfillment of the incarnation of the Lord Jesus Christ. For Him to come, the Messiah to come, in place so that He would pay uh, for the penalty of sin by the death of His body. 1 Timothy 3.16 And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed all in the world, and received up into glory. Ngayon, uh, in search to the ring, yung mga ipang uh, graphic uh, mystery, dito sa New Testament, which refers to the church, revelation of the church. Dito sa Revelation chapters 2 and 3. Uh, this is just a repetition of what I've said. So, uh, Tatlong divisions, what thou hast seen, things that are, uh, which refer to the features of the present church and its relation to Jesus. Things which shall be hereafter. Yan yung mga uh, susunod. No? The world, and the Jews, and the corrupt and apostate church to be spewed out. Uh, this is the church from Laodicea, no? Till Revelation chapter 22. Purpose of the seven letters to the churches. So ito yung kinutokan the things that are present age. Una, to meet the needs of those individual assemblies. Uh, comfort them, advise them, exhort them, warn them, and threat. You threat to them. Pangalawa, to reveal various kinds of individuals and assemblies. At home, halimbawa, dyan natin makita. Dyan sa Iglesia, halo-halo yan. No? Halo-halo yan. Dyan natin makita na meron mga unholy 
Meron mga holy ones. Meron mga light in dark places, in darkness, in the midst of light. Uh, meron pagaan, meron pabigat. So, dapat kumakain na ng karpe. Kumiinom pa rin ng gatas. Sa church, matagal sa church, hanggang ngayon na angay-angay pa. Halika na baby, baby, halika na. Yan, pabigat. Ang tagal, makapag-progress yung church. No? Dahil may mga pabigat sa church. Yan, mga inaakay-akay. Uh, Pangatlo, to reveal the force of the age of the church from just vision. Ito yung sinasabi ko na the churches typify or foreshadow the present and dominant changes in the professing church. Uh, next slide, brother. Ito yung uh, seven churches, no? Ito yung mga characteristics na. Peso, the church that had forsaken its first love. No? Ay, sinasabi, Peter, so your first love. Ito yung panahon ng apostolic period, the early years. Pangalawa, the church Smyrna, the church that would suffer persecution. Uh, the persecution went on until the Euclidia. Oh. Dito yung mga responding verses. No? Pergamo, or Pergamo, the church that needed to repent from the Ito yung <coughs> panahon ni Constantine because this is the time when uh, Christianity and paganism were married together. Kasi ang idea ni Constantine para lumakas yung kanyang uh, empire maging solid kinakailangan yung practices ng uh, mga pagano ihalo sa practices ng Christian Ano yan? Tignan mo sa mga katoliko. Oh. Pagkasama, yan. Oh. Merong uh, pagkahalo na, na, sa Panginoon at sa Sanibuta. Para matipay daw yung kaharihan ni Constantine. Eh, yan sa Rome nagdali yung uh, katuluan ng katoliko. Tayatira, the church that had a false prophet. Uh, dito na nagsimula yung Papal Church and then you end uh, its universal authority. No? Where they have persecuted the saints. Ito yung uh, talagang sinusolo, binibirutin yung mga saints. Sardis, the church has fallen asleep. Uh, pero dito nagsimula yung reformation no? reformation at may pasok yung uh, bagong liwana sa uh, church especially in Europe no? so wala yung uh, headship ng uh, papa in the church this was renaissance oh yeah yeah so, uh, ito yung grupo ng uh, renaissance no? the church that had a your patient case Ito yung reformation. Patuloy pa rin ang reformation at yung tayo. No? Pagdating dito, ito yung ating kapanahulan. The church with the look for a feeling. Uh, ito, hanggang ngayon, ang feeling doon, nag-overlap ito. Eh. Nag-overlap ito, itong apat. Ito, halos uh, nakaraan na, no? except for this. Pero ito nag-overlap. Ito ang ngayon ni Sika, the church with the low war of faith. Ito, sa Panginoon, yung pagiging low war, sa kanya, nakakasuka. No? Dorsiating. Ayaw na ayaw ng Panginoon to, na isusulak kita, sabi ng Panginoon. So this uh, church of Laodicea will go on until the time of judgment. Hanggang sa uh, ang Panginoon, i-rapture niya ang church. May one and last ng mga hindi believers dito. 
and then the second year's tribulation will start. Next slide, I will do. And then it's in Sabi Manila, no? Because of the present age. Because of the present age. The last days of the, of the church. Uh, not, not into Tayo Meo, no? Present age. Not, not because of. The last days, last days of the church, not the last days of uh, of uh, Israel. Last days of the church. Malapit ng marapyo at malapit ng mirapyo ng pamilyon ng church. At yung isang character ng mga churches kayo, hindi ko pa yung nagin lahat ng mga lalong space. No? In the last days, men shall depart from the faith. And then yung verse no. They will have a form of godliness, but deny the power of the blood of Christ. Uh, we'll make slide by the There are two distinct programs here, uh, the present age, at the close of the present age. The church shall have been completed at the rapture, and the kingdom shall have been restored at the second advent of Jesus Christ. So, itong, uh, ito yung ito yung first advent ng Panginoon ito yung second advent yung mga prophets ang nakita lang nila ay ito they did not see this itong church no? they did not see this and kaya the church is a mystery to them but this has been revealed <coughs> unto us by the Lord Anyway, wala na kong tayo. Siguro, uh, ituloy natin yan uh, next time. Ang point dito ay, ang church natin ngayon ay church ng Leodicea. Isang very distinct na makita niyo, mapasok niya sa Revelation chapter 3. Ang Pamiron appears to be outside of the church. Nasa naba? No? Anong sinasabi ng Panginoon niya? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and I will stop with him and he will stop with him. Wala si Jesus sa, sa church. Ang Leodicea that it cast out the Panginoon. This long war church that we have, eh, wala, hindi siya pwera ng Panginoon, no? Ah, doon sa last slide, one of the things that the present church has denied is they have denied the Lord Jesus Christ. Pansin ninyo mga churches na yun. Sinasabi na, a uh, Christ-centered church. But when you go into that church, listen to their prayers, listen to their devotions, wala si, Je- si Jesus sa alik po sa lahat. No? O, oh, nasa kwen. Yung mga uh, proclamation nila, wala si Jesus do. Di ba, hindi siya pera nila ang pangyong. Oo. Oh. Nung balik na po, ako po ako sa mga sa simbahan naman ng mga katoliko si Maria nando tapos dito mayroong balit na statue dito naman ni Jesus mas kisa ko lang po na the Lord the Lord Jesus Christ has been relegated to the side no uh, so yet sa dito sa par the Lord Jesus Christ has been cast out of the church and he is nothing Nothing. He wants to come into the church. No? He wants to come into the church. Ang, ang, uh, now, he's not only wanting to come into the church, but he's also wanting to come into our hearts. 
yung yung church natin ngayon, uh, in the prayer of Panginoon Jesus Christo, when in fact, the Lord Jesus Christ, ang may kapay-ari niya, mga iglesia na yan ng Panginoon Jesus Christo. Yung iglesia na uh, sa isa ng iglesia ni Christo na hindi naman iglesia ni, ng Panginoon Jesus Christo. Okay? Yes, I want to Si Jesus, tao lang man. Tao lang. No? Jehovah's Witnesses, si Jesus, malik na Diyos. Pag malik na Diyos, He's not God at all. No? Pag meron siyang hindi alam, meron siyang hindi kaya, He's not God at all. Because He's not official. He's not almighty. No? So, at the, yung mga Christian churches kayo na nag-a-akin, mga evangelicals, mga Protestant, tignan mo, ang kanilang mga prayers, ang kanilang devotions, naka-address sa Father. But when you look at the old kings, kung tayo yung, kung meron kayo ang aklat ng mga old kings, tignan nyo, si Jesus nyo yung kanila naman. Si Jesus nyo yung kanilang kinakantahan doon. You go back to the old church, yung apostolic age, madali mong makilalaan pa ang Christian. Ano mong sinasabi? Because they are of the way. And they preach So let's see, sir, they preach Christ crucified. Well, puro kay Jesus nakapokus lahat. Puro kay Jesus nakapokus lahat. During those early years. But now, palis ng palapalayo, palayo kay Jesus ng mga churches. Then they came. Then they came. Oh. And that's the reason why. So, may you see and cheer. Sabi ng Panginoon, isusuka kita. No? That's a threat, no? Susok kita, nakapasukakan. So, bago dumating ang Panginoon sa Kristo, I hope we can realize that we really need the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only in our church, but much more in our hearts. Kumakatok ang Panginoon. Give Him the chance to be able to come and be But that's the only way we can be saved. From the seven years tribulation that is about to come. And I hope everybody of us here in this room will gather with the Lord Jesus Christ when the time comes that He raptures His church. We'll continue this next time as we go on. Last of the people who are going to be able to do this, okay, Lord Jesus, thank you so much sa pagkakas ng kami noon, tinuto ang kami, itinutuwin mo po kami, ikaw po Panginoon ang umaakay sa amin, sa iyong landas, ng katwiran, alang-alang sa iyong pangalan. At bagay sa mga ng pag-aralan namin, Panginoon, ikaw ang dapat sentro, focus ng aming pananampalataya, Panginoon. Sapagkat walang ibang na parito o pangilitas kami, at walang ibang pangalan na ibinigay sa sino ng langit na sukat namin ikaligtas kundi ikaw lamang, Panginoon. Alam namin na malapit na ang iyong pagpapalik, malapit na ang iyong pag-rapture sa iyong church at tayo sa namin, Panginoon, na pakasama kami na kunin po sa iyong kalawalati at pagpakailan pa man, Panginoon. At Lord, alam namin na napakaganda ang aming kainan na kung kami, Panginoon, ay bahagi ng iglesia, tunay na iglesia, na ang, ang itinataas ay walang iba kung di ikaw ang Panginoon sa Kristo. At habang kami ay narito, nagdatay Panginoon ng iyong pagdating, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Habang inatay ka namin, Panginoon, nais nice namin, Panginoon, na kami ay makapagpatuloy sa aming uh, pagkakatalaga ng aming lahat sa iyo. At uh, habang kami ay narito, Panginoon, Uh, kami po ay patuloy mo pong ituwid, patuloy mo pong uh, turuan, patuloy mo pong kaming akayin, Panginoon, sa tamang landas, at ikaw din, Panginoon, ang uh, siyang bumuhay at uh, tumusto sa lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan, Panginoon. Sapagkat alam namin, Panginoon, na kung hindi mo itinagkain ang iyong sarili, wala pa rin ipagkakait sa amin na mabuti, Panginoon. Kaya, Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami na ikaw ang siyang kumatag po at tumutustos sa lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan sapagkat ang lahat ng ito ay aming hiling mula sa iyong makapangyarihan ng pangalan. 
sa pangalan ko po, Panginoon Jesus Christo. Amen. Amen. Glory to God.